Hey, what's going on? Rylan here in the garage gym, and today we're talking about the Barbell Rescue brush to clean or oil your barbells. Stay tuned, let's see how it works. Hey, what's going on? And today we're talking about this product right here, and this is a barbell cleaner from Barbell Rescue. So uh, what's wh wh who is this company? Where'd they come from? Um, I started following these guys and actually been, been reaching out and talking with the owner for a long time now. And when he first started on uh, Instagram, I noticed uh, that he was coming up with a barbell brush. And I thought that, you know what, that's a great idea. So the company is out of Alaska. The owner is a veteran and really, really cool guy, really nice guy. And yes, I paid for this. Uh, I know you guys are all thinking I get free stuff. I don't, I pay for everything I review and everything I get in the gym. I really wanted to help him out because I believed in his company, I believed in him, and I believed in um, small American companies like himself. Um, when this came and showed up at my door, I was more impressed with the packaging. Uh, to be honest, it's really awesome. I had no idea what, uh, what I was gonna get. This was in, I got this on the pre-order, so the first uh, wave of them to get shipped out and uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. All right, so why would you need uh, a barbell brush? And I think we've all been there with one of these guys right here, your standard Harbor Freight cleaning brush. It's like a little square brush and it just doesn't work. I mean, it, it, it just doesn't work. It's frustrating to use. So Barbell Rescue solved that issue with coming up with a brush that encompasses all the knurling and the entire diameter of your barbell. So a couple reasons why you might want to have one of these in the gym, especially I think the number one reason is going to be for commercial gyms and CrossFit gyms, to be honest with you, that use a lot of chalk. And you know, chalk, we know what it's like. It's going to cake up on your bars, get sweaty. It's just going to make a mess over time, especially in a commercial setting. Something like this is gonna allow you to clean your bars really fast. I'll be honest, I don't train CrossFit. That's kind of another world for me, but I do have a lot of bare steel bars in the gym that do get corrosion, and if I don't oil them, they will rust. So I've been using my brush mostly for oiling my bars. I have chalk in the gym. I use it uh, quite rarely, but when I do need to use it, this is something that's gonna come in really handy. So let's talk about what bars will it work on. And we'll I'll do some B-roll here. I'll show you some pictures of the barbell brush on various size bars. And the biggest bar I have in the gym is a 32 diameter, 32 millimeter diameter squat bar from Rogue. And it will not close all the way around it, but it will still work. And uh, that's about as big of a bar as you're gonna see. The new Rogue uh, duffel bar is 38 millimeters that would be probably a stretch for this brush, I would think. But your standard bars are in the range of 29 millimeters to 27 millimeters, and the brush fit perfectly on all of those, no problem. Um, so it fits really well on, a, on various diameter bars. I like that it's 360 degrees of brushes, so it makes the cleaning go really quickly, and it's, you're not having to just kind of scrub one side and then rotate, scrub, rotate, scrub, like some of the other brushes that are out there. One other really neat feature about it is the inserts are replaceable. So this insert right here comes out. You can buy a replacement one. I really don't see this wearing out that fast, to be honest, um, but maybe after a year or so, you might uh, want to replace that if you're in a commercial CrossFit gym. Before I get into cleaning a couple bars and kind of showing you uh, it in use, uh, we can talk about the pricing. The regular price on this for retail is around $49. So it's definitely not the cheapest 
option out there. I completely understand that. This is, you know, quite an expensive barbell brush. And for some people, that's probably going to be a deterrent. Fair enough, I totally get it. Um, but if you've got a commercial gym or a CrossFit box or just any powerlifting gym in general, you're looking at the highest quality brush and the one that's gonna last the longest. Plus it has the replacement brush option over going with cheaper brushes. There are cheaper options out there. I just don't think they will compare to the quality of this brush. So you're paying more for the quality and I mean, again, in everything we buy, that is always the trade-off. So let's see it in action, see what it can do. All right, so I've got my 28 millimeter barbell right here and the barbell rescue brush. And with this bar is covered in chalk, Let's see what's gonna happen. And just like that, that's cleaning it up really nicely. So let's add a little bit of oil and see how the oil does when we add that with the brush. The oil makes a huge difference on helping clean out all that knurling. Just put a little light amount of oil on there and brush over it. And that is almost like new again. I'm very impressed with how well that worked. Now, normally I don't think you're gonna have that much chalk on your bar. I just completely, basically just poured it on there as, as much as I could put on. So in a normal setting, you're probably not gonna see that much chalk, but that did a great job and it didn't take that long. Cleaning barbells, especially in a commercial CrossFit gym, that's gonna take a long time. So having something like this, where you can clean bars fast, it's gonna pay for itself, probably in the first day. I know it's a little more money, but that ability to clean the entire bar and all the knurling with the 360 degree brush, it's gonna make a big difference. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm gonna go grab one of my raw steel bars and oil it, no, no chalk, and just see how this works, just for oiling the bar itself. All right, we'll do another little test here. And this is my Rogue deadlift bar in bare steel or raw steel. And let's see how it works out. We'll just put some oil on it and we'll get it, we'll get it cleaned up. One thing I noticed using this brush is it doesn't take a lot of pressure. The, it's, it, 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 you do not need to squeeze very hard with your hands when you're cleaning. It just absolutely grips really well. And it's, those, those brushes are aggressive. There's no need to worry about squeezing super hard. So yeah, there we go. So that oiled that up really nice. Simple as that. So. Yeah, cool. All right, I just went ahead and went and oiled a few more of my bars there after showing you the example. And one thing I did notice is a lot of oil ends up inside the brush. And to me, that's a good thing because otherwise, as you're brushing with a regular open brush, that oil is just splattering all over everything. So I like the enclosed design keeps it a lot cleaner, keeps your work area cleaner, your gym or whatever from getting covered in oil. And again, you know, cleaning barbells is kind of a pain to deal with, I'll be honest. Um, that's one of the main reasons I don't use a lot of chalk and having bare steel bars or uncoated bars, they do rust if you don't oil them. So that's another thing you have to deal with of maintenance. And this just makes that a lot easier. So yeah, um, I'm really impressed with it. It's good, really good quality. And if you're interested, I'm not an affiliate, but I'll put a link in the description box 
and you'll be supporting a American-owned startup company and also veteran-owned company. So that's one of the big reasons that I really like to support this company. Having one of these in the gym would probably be a, a lifesaver for cleaning barbells for sure. So again, link will be in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.